Hello and welcome to the MAZ weather page for this Good Friday, March 30th, and we're definitely going to be uh, seeing conditions uh, tomorrow go out like a lion. Uh, we'll have some partly sunny skies today. We could get up into the mid 40s, and then the cold air invasion comes in. We'll have some increasing chances of snow along with rain. Right now, Saturday it looks like it'll be mainly a rain event, but here in mid-Michigan, off to the north, we could see some wet snow, especially in the morning. And if it comes down at a heavy enough rate, it could even whiten up the ground. The big story will be, of course, the cold, the wind chill, strong winds gusting to 35 to 45, maybe 50 miles an hour as you get closer to Lake Michigan. Don't be surprised if you see some sort of a, a wind advisory issued for parts of the uh, lower peninsula here tomorrow. And again, the cold air is not going away anytime soon. The next couple of weeks look quite cold. And for Easter Sunday, it looks like we'll have uh, dry conditions with sunshine, but it's going to be cold and breezy. Highs only in the low to mid-30s, so pretty chilly out there on uh, the day on Sunday. And again, March definitely going out like a lion, and uh, we'll see uh, hopefully improving conditions once we get to around about the third week of April. But until then, I just don't see any warm air coming. Our normal high is 48. The normal low is 29. Yesterday, we had a high of 48 right at normal and a mile low of 37. We had two hundredths of an inch of precipitation here, much more as you got south, around a half inch down in southeast lower Michigan. And again, no uh, snow here for the last couple of weeks. And if we look at temperatures out there this morning, uh, fairly seasonably mild in the upper 20s to the low 30s across southeast lower Michigan. And you can look at the water vapor loop and you can see that uh, front that came through and brought some of the showers, the dry line behind it. Here's our next system dropping down out of the uh, uh, Alberta down into the Dakotas. It's going to move to the east across uh, the uh, northern lower Michigan or the southern portions of the UP. And with it, it's going to bring quite a bit of wintry weather across Wisconsin, Minnesota, the Dakotas into upper Michigan where there are winter storm watches and winter storm warnings flying there. And again, these clouds here this morning should begin to break up. We see some sunshine until the system begins to move our way. We should hold off any precipitation until probably around daybreak on Saturday, as it looks right now. And if we look at the 72-hour uh, snowfall, you can see a lot of snow across the UP into Ontario. Uh, maybe some accumulating and slipper conditions across northern lower Michigan as well. And again, some of the snow here could be probably uh, Saturday morning. Could be enough to whiten the ground. These kind of situations, if somebody got two or three inches, it would not shock me at all. If you don't get any, that doesn't uh, wouldn't surprise me neither. But I think most of the MAC area, at least the northern portion, should see some wet snowflakes mixed in tomorrow before it changes to rain as we get into the warm sector as that low pressure system tracks well to our north. But again, the initial precipitation band that breaks out could have some snow with it tomorrow morning and definitely some high winds. And from this dash line north, winter is alive and well, will be for the next couple of weeks. That looks like we're the best chance of, of uh, getting some uh, significant accumulating snows here with the next couple of systems. Another one later next week. Doesn't look like it's much moisture, but the one coming in for Monday night and Tuesday could bring a decent amount of snow if it were to uh, be in the snow area. And I think from mid-Michigan off to the north, that could certainly be the case. Heaviest precipitation across the Ohio Valley. And if we look at the forecast, highs today in the mid 40s will be in the low 40s tomorrow, and then the fall in the afternoon. The big story is going to be winds 35 to 45 miles per hour, falling temperatures, rain, snow, just an ugly day out there tomorrow as we end the month. Definitely going out like a lion. Highs in the 30s, and we'll try to warm up early next week. Uh, and we could see some showers and snow as we get into Monday night and Tuesday. Actually, this precipitation amounts to be three to seven tenths here. Uh, this is an old one. But again, it's going to be another fairly wet system that could bring some accumulating snows to the area. Again, that would be the best chance Monday night into Tuesday. As for weather watch, all kinds of winter storm warnings for Minnesota, northern Wisconsin, into the western UP winter storm watches for the remainder of the Upper Peninsula, five to eight inches. And in the warning areas, you can see about six to 10, locally a foot of snow. So uh, definitely lots of winter weather as you head off to the Northwest. Nothing going on here for Lower Michigan, but again, don't be surprised to see uh, wind advisories issued for much of the area for the day on Saturday. Thanks for stopping by and have yourself a great day, a great Easter weekend, and 73s to all.